My name is Vahur and I have background in uh, photography and museums and I'm, uh, I've been running a platform, a crowdsourcing platform called Ayabike for several years now with the aim of enriching the information of historic images. I'm really passionate about historic photographs. Uh, look at this uh, picture from more than 100 years ago from Tartu by Johannes Pääsukke from the Estonian National Museum's collection. So all museums and archives have photographic collections. For instance, the Estonian National Museums, it's one of the Estonian biggest ones. It's less than 400,000 items, but every museum has this collection. And I believe that historic photographs are really such a rich source of information. Let's zoom into the uh, picture I showed, uh, look at these expressions on the faces, or, or these expressionless uh, wrestlers, or these uh, uh, dynamic gymnasts, or, or these people at the Christmas party. So uh, what all these pictures actually have in common is that uh, uh, none of the persons on these pictures are known. So the, nobody on these pictures has been identified. But at the same time, all these people are somebody's great-grandparents, etc. And I believe that everybody would be happy to come across a picture of your forebears that you have not seen before. So actually, there are really millions of uh, discoveries and, and tons of untold stories in, the, in, the, in these historic pictures. Of course, AI can come to help and, and we can use uh, face recognition, etc. But still... We actually need people to see these pictures, to connect names to these uh, faces. And, and we need easy ways to interact uh, and contribute with your knowledge. Uh, somebody to uh, add the names to the faces, somebody can specify the datings of the uh, events depicted, somebody can take the research with the help of historic maps, for instance, and to put the images on the map, like where exactly was the historic picture taken. And all this information we actually need to, to make this heritage content more relevant and to put it in use in education and the uh, and, and, and game industry, for instance. And, and for instance, the aspect of location awareness, then we can build on top new touristy uh, applications or, or for instance, the activity of re-photography creating this kind of then and now picture pairs and on augmented reality, all, all that is needed, or this information is needed for these kind of applications. So by now we have um, uh, around 400,000 historic images on our platform. We have had more than 10,000 users who have contributed in tagging and then contributing the um, enrichment process. 500 users have made more than 20,000 re-photographs. And our aim is to build the best such platform for enriching the metadata of pictorial heritage with the help of engaging the users. Uh, so we basically we want to conquer the world uh, with, with our platform, but of course we are lacking uh, several competencies and, and, and resources. So we're looking for help in the domain of business development. What would be actually the model to create the software as a service product or acquiring funding from the EU level, etc. And, and general help in the platform development, in the UI, uh, uh, social features for more um, traction, etc. So, but I, I think that as this um, picture from the end of 80s, uh, from the Tartu the Town Hall Square uh, manifestation, that there, the, uh, there's no end to the hope uh, and we can achieve these goals. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. The thing that was lacking in your slides, I would like to ask about the, your business model. How do you actually earn money or sustain this kind of business? Because it's rather uh, resource consuming, I guess, getting all the pictures on a platform. Yeah, that, that's, that's what we are missing, actually. So uh, we basically run this until now as a, as a non-profit initiative. Uh, with some grant funding, and, and, and this is uh, now, by joining the uh, Creative Industry Center, we are also looking into, into what would be the actual the sustainable model of um, operation, so um, uh, how, how to run it, in, uh, and then go to the next level. Um. I'm also wondering how do you actually how does the process work? So, like, is there any proofing method? Because if if it's based only on uh, like human knowledge, somebody guessing that that might be my grandmother or, or a relative, then then it's um, it's very much based on on guessing rather than facts. Yeah, yeah well, it's it's hard to say. So, so basically, the idea is also the uh, the. Uh, that the platform would be most uh, like self-regulatory. Regulatory. So actually social validation, other users validate other users' suggestions, for instance, when we're talking about uh, geotagging or putting an image on a map. So if several users agree, so it's, it's validated kind of. Of course, with the, uh, with the task of um, 
identifying people on the pictures, it's, it's, it, it always is, uh, you, you cannot have the final truth, but I mean, uh, we can combine the uh, human knowledge in the crowdsourcing form and AI, so uh, if, we, if we have, uh, so millions of images basically are missing identification, but if, if we can identify a person on, on one picture, we, ca we, we can use technology to find the other instances of the same people, and then we can like weave this uh, fabric of knowledge. Just a quick question more, like, have you started developing any AI for it or do you have any partners or is it just in the thought process? No, we have some very basic AI in, in, in place, so face detection, not recognition yet. And of course, I mean, one of the things we have currently is uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, training data for AI applications. Because, for instance, in image analysis, uh, the image sets that have been used for training are contemporary images. Uh, but we have a lot of annotated uh, imagery and these kind of aspects that is on the historic pictures, black and white pictures, that has been missing in the, uh, in the training sets of uh, contemporary imagery. Uh, thank you. Uh, you said that you have 10,000 users. Yeah, did I understand right? Yeah, we yeah. have had, uh, over the time, yes. we have contributed. Okay. Uh, I'm just curious that uh, have you asked from these users that what they value in these photos and what kind of information they are looking or, or why, why they think it's important? Yeah, I, I think it's, uh, we are sharing the same statistics as, as, um, as other crowdsourcing initiatives, like Wikipedia, for instance. So basically, it, it can be com compared to Wikipedia, only that it's aimed at imagery or historic imagery. That there is a quite a like, rather small percentage of active users who contribute, and, and then uh, like a couple of percents only, and then a wider audience who is like, consuming the content. So, and people, are, people have different interests, so uh, actually it's, it's like sharing uh, your expertise is, is something is rewarding in a way. So, uh, and this is, this is the main reason. And some people are into, into people, some people are into places like uh, pictures that are depicting uh, locations. So in that sense, but, but the, we also believe that there's, um, uh, there's room for improvement like by engaging better interaction or engagement mechanisms. So gamification that we also have in, in, in place already in somewhat, but, the, but there is ways to actually uh, onboard the people to contribute uh, more easily. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ahur.